Welcome to AG's Ace. Let's talk about pace. That is a major factor in modern cricket. And uh, it was a major factor a couple of decades ago when Clive Lloyd uh, reinvented the West Indies team, brought in four fast bowlers and completely redefined history. They did not lose a series for almost 15 years, which is a massive record. They were led, of course, by Andy Roberts. Then you had Michael Holding, Joel Ghana and Colin Croft. Later, Malcolm Marshall came into that quartet when one of them retired. Uh, that was the time of fearsome, magnificent bowling. Here we are talking about Team India and how uh, India has found a nucleus of four fast bowlers who can possibly redefine uh, cricketing history as uh, the England tour moves ahead. Let's take a look at some of the specifics of what the West Indies did and now what India can do. So like I was telling you, the... It was basically in the 70s and the first uh, four bowlers that comprised the lineup were Ghana holding Croft, Andy Roberts. And uh, Roberts, who was the quietest, uh, was in India a while ago. And he was speaking at a program on uh, an evening with Andy Roberts, which was organized by the Global Cricket School, Mumbai. The 64-year-old who hardly uh, gave interviews and didn't speak much, surprisingly opened up and spoke a lot about what the quarter did. So he said, I've heard many people say that Clive went around the Caribbean looking for fast bowlers. That is so far from the truth. During the World Series cricket, we had four outstanding fast bowlers. We had one or two spinners who were not good enough to make the team. Uh, that was the birth of the four-pronged pace bowling attack. And we played together for three to four years before Colin Croft left. Then we got Malcolm Marshall, Robert said. And boy, what a replacement Malcolm Marshall was. But I must say that the first quartet was the best, holding Ghana, Croft, and myself. We were different in approach and size. Joel presented the bounce because of his height. He was almost like six feet, eight inches tall. Then Michael holding sheer pace. Colin Croft presented the angle because he uh, bowled so wide of the crease. And Andy Roberts was uh, the least of the lot. And he says, to quote him, I presented what many people say, the brain behind the four. Indeed, he was. They did not lose a series for 15 years, and that is a record unrivaled by any top sports team. Clive Lloyd and Viv Richards were one of the greatest teams in uh, cricketing history. Later, if you remember, when Mitchell Johnson was at his best for a while, and he was terrorizing England and South Africa in the 2013-14 season, more than one admirer of Test cricket said that it reminded them of that famous quartet. And sure enough, he did. Fast bowling is basically a rare combination of power, endurance, concentration, and precision. Four things, power, endurance, concentration, and precision. Pace is, of course, a factor, but then you need control, accuracy, endurance, and support at the other end. So it, it's best done in simple terms as when, when fast bowlers, they say hunt in pairs. There are two guys at either end, so it becomes a relentless pressure on the batsman and uh, often, like Steve was said, it leads to uh, famously coined as mental disintegration, where the pressure becomes so huge that uh, they make some kind of either forced or unforced errors leading to their downfall. Now, it would be safe to say that very few specialist batsmen in the top order have been scared of fast bowling because they are also highly accomplished people. So it is not fair to say that they were scared or they, of course, a couple of tail enders were known that of backing away towards square leg when a tearaway fast bowler would move in. Uh, but that was more about the tail enders where the top order is concerned. That was not the case. Even uh, when Lily or Thompson were bowling at their peak, if you remember 45 year old Brian Close, uh, he was brought back from retirement. He didn't flinch. The Yorkshireman took a lot of blows on his body. And they said that when he took his shirt off, it was badly bruised and battered. But the man uh, held his uh, position. And that is what the Yorkshire spirit is all about. Yes, there is an element of physical danger. Uh, but most batsmen have found a method to cope. The challenge for the bowler lies in beating the batsman's method. So it could be anything. It could be sheer intimidation. It could be movement. It could be the odd bouncer, a field placement, a leg trap, whatever uh, may be the case. Coming to the Indian uh, uh, trio currently, we have to talk about it as a trio, of course, uh, soon it will be a quartet. So you have Jaspreet Bumrah, Ishan Sharma, Mohammad Shami, and fourth, I believe, could be Mohammad Siraj. He is uh, bowled magnificently and has really flowered. 
There might be a few notches below the fearsome uh, Caribbean quartet, but they can uh, lay claim to be the finest ever this country has ever produced together. I'm talking about the fact that together you have a quartet of some excellent fast bowlers coming in. Now, let's talk about stats. Some 60% of India's test wickets have been taken by fast bowlers in the past four years. I'll repeat that. In the past four years, 60% of India's test wickets have been taken by fast bowlers, an increase of almost 20% on the previous 75 years, which is phenomenal. Bumrah, Shami, Umesh Yadav and Ishan Sharma have done most of the damage. Of course, uh, while I was talking about Siraj, let's not leave out Umesh Yadav, but I still believe uh, Siraj has a leg in. West Indies legends Marshall, Ghana, Kirtley Ambrose are the only bowlers since 1970 to have a better test bowling average than Bumrah, a minimum of 50 wickets. Bumrah, if you uh, look at him, is undoubtedly, he's the superstar. At 27, he made his name uh, earlier in the IPL, uh, bowling for Mumbai Indians. Since then, it has been a stupendous story of his coming in at the topmost level. His his uh, weapon is basically accuracy, that lethal yorker, and he can make the ball move after pitching both ways at very high speed. Coming off a short run-up, a result of learning to bowl in a small backyard at the family home. If you see, uh, and his, his uh, run-up is now being copied by quite a few kids, so he trots to the crease before whipping the ball towards the batsman at 90 miles per hour. And this is because of his rapid arm speed, front-on action, and braced front leg. Next is Shami. No fast bowler has as many wickets for India in the past four years as Shami. That he's 30 years old. He has relentless control and ability to move the ball in the air and off the pitch and an excellent bouncer, which is almost always at the head of the batsman. He doesn't waste the bouncer. Ishan Sharma, as we all know, has played 101 tests, taken 300 wickets, is in, the, uh, is in an exalted category with the great Kapil Dev and Zaheer Khan. Um, he is the veteran. He is the tallest of the quartet. He generates awkward bounce and has increasingly targeted the pads with a fuller, more probing length. My take is uh, around a couple of points. You need bowlers to win matches. You can have great batsmen in your side, but ultimately you have to take those 20 wickets and you need good fast bowlers to do that. Um, Pacers, working in a quartet is an excellent choice as fast bowlers hunt in pairs. There has to be an element of relentlessness, no escape as it wears down the minds of batsmen. That, oh my God, now I've seen these through two. Now there are two more waiting for me. Sometimes it can get too much during the course of a day and in the spells that they come in. Australia had an impressive pace and swing attack uh, with Vaughan adding that extra menace, but India needs to depend more on the pacers. I just feel all three uh, pacers are prone to injuries. That's a negative because Bumrah came back from back surgery. Holding made the point in a couple of uh, chats earlier that he puts too much pressure on his body. Kirtley Ambrose sort of hinted at it, but hoped that if he can ride that over, he can go to 400 uh, plus test wickets. Ishant has been out in and out uh, for medical reasons and uh, is not that fit. Shami has had his share too. Uh, Shami also needs to watch his weight a bit. He's dropped, but he could possibly lose a few more kilos because that will take the pressure of his legs. And of course, uh, while this is uh, a eulogy for uh, Pacers, for the England tour, let's not forget Ashwin and Jadeja, who can add a completely different dimension on, on any pitch and on a helpful pitch, on a dry pitch for spinners. They can do magic. And maybe it is time the history books were rewritten as the India Quartet comes into play and uh, completely mesmerizes not only viewers and destroys famous batting lineups all over the world. But, but we need to watch out for those five tests in England and the WTC final should be uh, a terrific game and should uh, be able to rewrite history. And like Rahul Dravid said, he's predicted a 3-2 win uh, for India over England. Let's wait and see. Thanks for watching AG's Ace. Stay safe. Take care.